something a little bit different today. We're looking at an AM FM general electric clock radio. I've gone through and I've replaced the capacitors in this bad boy. Um, it looks like it is from, was originally produced uh, 1980 or maybe late 79, this particular design and internals. This, uh, this revision, the newest chip I can find in there is a 1984 um, clock chip, essentially. So here's some of the things I've found inside. This guy here uh, is off one of the speaker stands. Speaker attaches and it's fallen off. That's used to be super glued or something. These are the capacitors, unsurprisingly. Um, well, actually it was a bit surprising. Rubicon. Blue and maroon. I don't do too much that's this old. Um, so it was actually quite a nice surprise to see a Rubicon in there. I've replaced them all with uh, Panasonic's. Could have went rubies, but. We got uh, Axials, magnificent. And a whole bunch of little guys. And I've just got to say, I love leaded solder. It just melts off so easily with the desolder gun. It's magnificent, it really is. What else we got? 220 UF. When I was uh, getting the bill of materials, I thought, is that 63 volt? And I looked it up, I was like, no way, 63 volt would be massive. And just these two little guys, which I'm pretty sure are 100s. Yep, there we go, and that clearly says 100, or 22, it's fine. 35 volt, and this one would have to be 100 because there were two CEO4W. Is that the brand? Yeah, okay. News to me. Um, so I have quickly powered it on and it didn't catch fire, which I was very happy with. But I did find uh, some things that were quite interesting. These little things have metal clips inside them. One of them had fallen through and was just sort of rattling around. This, off the speaker, I couldn't work. I thought I snapped it. I was like, where on earth did this come from? It was like rattling around underneath the power board on this side. And I thought, oh, okay, that's, that's really bad. I'm going to not put it back where I found it. So it's actually pretty easy to use, given it was the 1980s. This thing's just a beast. So we've got on off music and alarm. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I don't quite know what music's meant to do because I turn it on. Oh, maybe it's wake up to music, wake up to alarm. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, we're missing, unfortunately, this one over here. I've actually put these on backwards because the wares at the front here, but the wares at the back on that one. I'll fix it in a later revision. Um, I added some foam underneath because the foam is degraded. I, I didn't have foam to replace here, but these two have foam underneath them. So old, so old. Um, so let's try turning it on. Whew. Here we go. So, so that area is backlit apparently. The uh, little tuning thing to tell you where you are is broken. Um, I'll take the front off in a minute and show you why. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Now, th this isn't on. So if you're using this as an alarm clock radio next to your bed, do you want bright numbers hitting you in the face every morning. Not necessarily, that's why at the back of the device, they've actually got this, this brightness knob, which was a very, very good thought. Because now I can slowly bring it to life. It's a lot brighter than it was before. I'm gonna say that was the capacitors. As you can see, 
does flicker a bit on camera, but it is not flickering at all in real life. My eyes can't pick it up anyway. Um, but that's actually quite nice. Now, if you want to change the time, for example, you have, um, I think it's this time set. This whole area is time set. So you've got forward lock and off. So if it's locked, you can't change it. It's not going to let you change the time. That's great. That's fantastic. I don't want to change the time. That it's a, okay. It is the time. It's a, it's a minute slow. So what you can then do is if you do want to set it, I want to go in a forward direction slowly like such, or the more fun way is to just keep going around until you hit it exactly. It is surprisingly fun to do. I haven't tried reverse yet, actually. You know what, let's try reverse. No way, this really was the future. And from what I understand, this is VFD technology, which is, um, I went too far. Oh, I'm still going backwards. I'm at 1248. And I'll be unplugging this in like 10 minutes. Um, so, Yes, General Electric, which um, I believe at the time might have been taken over or merged with Kirby. It's all a bit before my time, unfortunately. Um, but as you can see, we've got the beautiful warm white over there, contrasting heavily with this horrid green. Oh, look, I'm a Nixie clock sort of guy. I like the warm, warm whites. Uh, but let's try some music. So at the moment we're in on mode, so we should be able to listen to music. It's got a volume knob here. Upgrade your game with an Intel powered Acer laptop now at Harvey Norman. Really, a Harvey Norman ad? And tuning. Guy. The guys who want to celebrate this offer. And at the back we've got the AM FM switch. But now what's interesting is I can't get this to go to FM. When I switch to FM, I'm still on AM. So I'm not sure why that's happened. I'm guessing the switch isn't switching properly up here. Um, I guess we can never... It doesn't zap me too much. I don't really like messing with things that are plugged into mains from the 1980s. But I guess I can't make a circuit because I'm only using one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other because I still haven't bought a tripod. Ah, oh, those would get stuck anyway. You can't take it off the other, yeah, I'll take it off the other way then. All right, all right. All right. Uh, now the knob, is the knob going to get in the way? No. So you've got two main boards in this. You've got the circuit board and the other circuit board. They're in there. I guess you won't be able to see them, that's fine. Circuit board one is the power. Circuit board two is, what's circuit board two? Power and the radio, yeah, it's power and the radio. I'm just gonna pop the camera down here. Okay. Huh, didn't catch fire. Sort of expecting fire. Um, so let's have a look, what have we got? So there's my big boy cap on the left there. Sorry, on the right. Uh, just behind the VFD, which in itself is kind of cool, I guess. I think we used a Nippon Chemicon capacitor. I wanted Axial. I, I tried using, uh, I didn't really want to do too much of a hack job with it. Um, let's 
transformer, some wire links holding two bits of PCB board together. PCB board, PCB. We've got, uh, I think that's the 22 UF capacitor on the right. It's another, uh, I think it's another 1000 UF on the left. It's some other guy down there, don't know what he is. Um, GE Con Singapore, no, in brackets, zero joules. I'm guessing we were coming from a time when, uh, I guess watches, timekeeping things still had jewels in them. Uh, and so that's the, that's the main power and I guess circuit board. And um, then over here we've got the light thing and the radio board itself. Feel the AC. So we had a 100 UF over there, I think two 100 UFs, a 470 and a 220. That's the 220 up the top. There's the other one. That orange wire, that was just floating around loose. Looked like it took on a bit of uh, mechanical stress and uh, didn't want to work anymore, but I resoldered it because I sort of need all the things. Um, so that's most of it. Take off these things. because I don't know how to focus this properly, but if you look in there, it's a little metal thing. Now in this one, it doesn't fall out, which is good. That's how you want it to be. It's obviously wedged itself along the edges. Um, but in this one, please don't fall into the clock radio. Please don't fall into the clock radio. Please don't fall into the clock radio. Okay, it didn't fall into the clock radio, but it's about to. There it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and get that. It's always important to not use um, metal things, or at least things that can cause a shock for you. Such as these metal tweezers. Ha ha! Caused me a world of pain, that little thing. All right, now the front should come off and you just have a look at the, what little is under there. It actually looks kind of cool with the front off. Whoop, there it goes. Down here we've used just a bit of foam cut poorly to replace the foam that was there. The buttons just push a very simple uh, mechanism underneath, just a piece of metal that touches another piece of metal. Not much different to a rubber dome keyboard except they've used two pieces of metal. And that's fine. Over here though we can see where the needle would normally live. Um, so we would normally hook under that or into that groove and up along here. But what's happened over time is that the um, ceramic grease or Vaseline, whatever it was along there that General Electric decided to use some, oh God, what year is it? 2022, it's, it's a long time, it's nearly 40 years. Um, whatever they used has dried up. And that's not terribly surprising. So I'm hoping that uh, someone I know is going to be able to 
not only reproduced the needle that snapped, it was interesting because it was a fork shape. It was like a trident shape, I should say. So I went down and then it, no, no, it was a fork. It had two sides coming off. And what happened is when someone tried to turn the thing after 30 years, it went split that way and then that was it. It was no good. It's fine. Anyway, if we get a new one, it can go in here. It'll look fantastic. If not, not so much of an issue, I suppose. Um, now this AM, FM, why didn't that work? But that's actually, it's quite a, an interesting way that they do it. So you've got the rope that goes touching things and then things get louder or quieter. Why does old technology have to be so scary? Might as well just be an anode cap there waiting for me to lick. I don't even know if this is screwed in. In fact, I'd be inclined to say it isn't. I'm gonna flick the switch. Down. Whoops, don't fall into the computer. Ah! Okay, and now it's rocket launches, and this is this is a really large number, and what it says is that if rocket launches increase substantially in the future, uh, they don't have to grow to the size of the aircraft industry or the airline industry to have field goal and Wayne Bennett the then Broncos coach had a lot to say about it oh, football, way, one of my favorite topics but I thought I thought the AM band was dead here So now we stock a huge range of quality outdoor furniture. From hanging... Blinds, doors, shutters and awnings. So hurry and order now for Christmas. Don't get burned. Head to winstonwithaway.com.au Winston with a Y. Awesome. He's from nine right here. But as you can see, when I'm when I'm turning that, it's turning other dials and fun. That big white thing connects to the thing with all the tiny things in it down there in that little plastic square. And this is NRL Crunch. Well, this sounds like AM to me, so how do I get to FM? That should be FM. Services Australia wrote to Optus last week to find out who used Centrelink or Medicare information as identification to set up an account. However, he says everything just sounds like AM. That sounds old people and boring. Jimmy Barnes will lead an all-star Australian lineup for the pre-game entertainment before kickoff at 7:30 in Sydney. Meg Van Lohausen, Nine News. The federal government has hit out at Optus over its handling of the company's mass data. French news. Helicopter. Man is alleged to have attacked a team who was walking with friends in Burley Heights after an. Okay, we're at the end of the band. I don't know which end we're at, but we're at one of them. Seven people have died over. What? 
Just one day after it was annexed by Russia, Russian troops have been pulled out of the city of Laman, which was being used. All right, enough doom and gloom news. You be quiet. No, I guess it's 1, 1 p.m. That's why there's news. Just like the old days before you just, you know, use the internet. Um, yeah, so I don't seem to have FM capabilities. I don't know why that is. Is there something wrong with my switch? I can't tell. I'm not a radio technician by trade. In fact, I'm not a technician by trade. Um... Yeah, so that's sort of interesting. A bit of a look back at some of the older technology that old people use or still use today. Uh, one watt 16 ohm. Yikes, that's a nice speaker. Oh, yeah, and there you can see my standoff. It's just gone. Look at that. And it's quite a nice little device. Honestly, I prefer my Nixie clock because I can just stare at the numbers and they do that uh, anti-cathode poisoning routine where they spin around like a... Uh, that's the thing that the old people use with the... Pokies, pokies, that's it. Sorry, I don't, don't frequent anything like that ever. But there you go. Thanks for watching. It's been recapped. The capacitors at least now won't leak for another 40 years. It'll probably sit in storage somewhere. It's not mine, um, but it was um, interesting to work on. But I've got to say, these wires that are in here, they are very, 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 very old. And yeah, they are quite prone to snapping, as I found. I guess nothing lasts forever, right? But it's doing a pretty good job. The Ram 1500 pickup makes light work of any challenge. Legendary capability mm. makes luxury. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't do ads. All right, thank you for watching. That's been, that's enough. I'm closing it up now. Um, I'm going back to play with modems. I think modems are a bit more interesting because they deal with audio. They don't have 240 volt in them most of the time. Sorry, modems. That's, let's say modems made since 93. But thank you for watching, um, uh, like, subscribe, whatever. I don't know what all the buttons are now because I don't look at YouTube very often myself. I think there's a, a thanks button now. I don't even know what that does. Wouldn't you just use the like button? Just use the like button. I don't understand technology. This is Shane McRetro signing out. six. I could just have the clock blinking for a minute. I mean, it's kind of cool. People love that sort of thing. 
and we'll wait until it like ticks over a minute. I think that'll really engage the audience. Yeah, that's some good material. We'll fix it in post, I'm sure. Trust me, I've been doing this for over a decade. People know what to expect. I hope. Till next time. McRetro out. See it ticked over.